The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Comic and toy show conventions as of late have been pretty interesting. Most of them have been online, TFCon, TF Nation, and now with the more recent PulseCon, which was fantastic, still is not the same as walking through the doors and meeting other collectors and seeing vendors face to face and finding all those wonderful figures just spread out all across a table like some sort of geeky Thanksgiving buffet. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been able to go to two different conventions in person. Pretty small ones, but still absolutely worth going and I jumped at the chance to be able to go. The most recent of which was the Columbia Comics and Toy Show in Columbia, South Carolina. It was really fun. It was a blast. It was great to pile in the car, head down the road for a few hours, and walk through those doors. And before anyone says anything, yes, everyone had masks on, everyone was social distancing, they had limits to the number of people that can come in, and they were doing temperature checks at the door. All a bit Orwellian if you ask me, but it was still well worth it. So I walk through the door, I see these wonderful tables spread out, all these fellow collectors walking around, and it was absolutely worth the trip. And I hope that this is a sign of things to come, of conventions and people gathering, getting back to normal. With that said, I've got a video a few minutes long that'll show you some of the things I saw there, some of the tables there, some of the folks I met. Uh, just something simple to let you know that Things are getting back to normal a little bit, and I'm very grateful. So without further ado, we'll roll the intro and head right to the video. It's Kato! So we start off at the beginning of the show when I walked in. I found this table that had just a ton of like old uh, Masters of the Universe and everything. I see Dukes of Hazard back there and I spotted this Eternia playset. This thing was immaculate and it really makes me hope that the Origins or Masterverse set will end up with those. But really cool stuff. You can see the Terradrome Eagle Eye folks will see the uh, RC and Hot Rod from the Collectors Club. There was another table there that had some other Transformers stuff, some older Marvel Legends, some stuff that I really wasn't interested in, some more Star Wars. Uh, I see a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh figures and going around some older figures. There's the GoBot uh, armor, some older Spider-Man figures and Legends, mixed Star Wars stuff, and then this awesome just bucket of Battle Cat. And then I saw the Pogo Ball. Anybody remember the Pogo Ball? That thing was awesome. Here's actually a friend of mine I actually have bought some stuff from before. He had a slew of legends and pops and mostly those. He had a few Transformers. Star Wars fans would notice this table right away. Tons of Star Wars stuff. Some old, some new, some that I've never seen before. But I'm not as big of a Star Wars fan as some, so I passed up. The uh, Turtle Van there is outstanding. I love seeing that. 35th Anniversary Prime uh, stood out bunch of Bandai and uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z figures and whatnot. Again, I don't get a lot of those, so not that big of a deal. Uh, did just a quick glance around the whole room. It was a really cool place. Really, really enjoyed being there. Then I saw the Joe table. All these, the his tank, the bridge layer. That's so fantastic. Love seeing these. Makes me hope for vehicles for the six inch line. Was looking through some of the vintage Joes. They had Sergeant Slaughter. Just so many great ones. And of course, I noticed the uh, Storm Shadow there, really familiar nowadays. Dreadnoughts, some on-card Joes, really reasonable prices. These guys were ridiculously nice. Check out JT's Joes. Some uh, Transformers Prime stuff, some Universe. Uh, if I remember right, in a second, we'll see a uh, Reveal the Shield Jazz, which really was cool and I nearly picked that up. I didn't. It's hard for me to pick up some of the older stuff, but they had a lot of really cool stuff. Then you got some Godzilla and monsters, more Star Wars. So much Star Wars there, it was great to see. Here you got, uh, again, 
some somewhat vintage and vintage Star Wars uh, out of the box, obviously. Then you get some Joes and some DC characters. Fantastic Transformers table here. Tons of Takara Legends. Very tempting. They had nearly all the Takara Legends headmasters. Lots of R.I.D. and Universe stuff. Uh, you can see uh, the Prime there is awesome. Really great people here too. Lots of fun stuff. I did end up picking something up there. This is an extra little throw-in that I did for uh, Patriot Prime and everyone on the Bros and Bots show last night. We brought up Skeleton Warriors. So there you have it. That was my quick trip to the Columbia Comics and Toy Show in September of 2020. It was so much fun seeing everyone get together again. I didn't show you a lot of stuff that I picked up there, but I just wanted to show you some of the stuff I saw. I did pick up a couple of things though. I grabbed this Stan Lee Marvel Legend. I was really looking forward to finding this somewhere and I'm glad they got it. And he didn't even rob me the guy. He was a reasonable price. And you'll probably see this and the next thing show up in a toy haul soon. And I also picked up this Armada Power Links Optimus Prime. I don't have any Armada figures other than this right now. And I'm really not sure if I want to open this guy up. But I wanted to get him from a Prime and Megatron shelf. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to make me want to get some of the newer third party stuff like the fans hobby naval commander coming out just a couple things i picked up nothing major it was all more about the experience for me of going and you'll probably like i said see these pop up in a toy hunt pretty soon so there you have it just a quick little view of a convention something in person rather than this online stuff which i'm grateful for but i miss the live stuff so the couple things i got i'm Really glad I found them and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the look of walking around an actual convention again. I need to do more of that filming in conventions. Not super great at that, but I plan on doing that in the future. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Remember, if you want to support the channel, you can do it very easily by liking the video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hitting that notification bell. There's also a channel membership option obviously completely optional but if you're willing to help the channel out just click that join button below so until next time take it easy thanks for watching and if you'd like to see the channel grow all you have to do is hit that subscribe button smash that like button and share this video out there to your friends as always i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and giving me your valuable time i appreciate each and every one of you and remember to be good to yourself be good to each other and always play this is kato signing out